So are you supposed to clean your aquarium once a week, once a month, once a day? The answer is it totally depends. Keep watching as I share a systematic method of figuring out how often you need to clean your aquarium. Hi, my name is Irene with Aquarium Co-op, and the reason why it's so important to know when to clean your aquarium is because, well, obviously if you don't do it enough, your aquarium is gonna get very gross, your fish are living in their own waste, breathing that stuff in and out, they could potentially get very sick and pass away. However, if you clean your aquarium too much with huge water changes all the time, yeah, it's gonna look good, but the wildly swinging water parameters, the potential loss of beneficial bacteria is also super stressful for your fish and could also cause them to get sick. Now for the purposes of this method for figuring out how often you need to change your aquarium water, we have three goals. The first one is to control the nitrate level. If you don't know what that is, we have a whole video over here on the aquarium nitrogen cycle, but basically it's a measurement for how much fish waste is in the aquarium. It's one of the toxic nitrogen compounds produced by fish waste, and we want that level of nitrates to be below 40 ppm or parts per million. Now the second goal is the frequency. I personally prefer to not have to clean my aquarium more than once a week. Like, you know, every Saturday, that's my water changing day. And I really don't want to do it more than that. And then finally, third goal, we want to, to prevent the wildly swinging parameters I mentioned before, we want to change ideally less than 50% of the water. Really ideally more like 25 to 30%. I'm assuming that your aquarium is already cycled, meaning that it's not brand new, it's been running for a little while, and then also you are not adding any easy green fertilizer or other fertilizers that would artificially change that nitrate level. The only thing going in the tank is fish food, which turns into fish waste. <laughs> All right, for this method, you're gonna need a few materials. Make sure you have a water test kit that measures nitrates, as well as a log book of some sort. A lot of people just use a piece of paper to write down the level of nitrates each week. I personally use like a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet so I can take other notes as well. And then you want your regular tank cleaning maintenance equipment. Really quickly, I'm gonna teach you two methods for testing nitrates. I've got the API Freshwater Master Test Kit as well as the Tetra 6-in-1 test strips. For the API water test kit, they're gonna give you a couple of bottles as well as a test tube. So go ahead and fill up that test tube to the five milliliter line. Then bottle one over here, you're gonna add 10 drops to it and then put the cap on and then gently invert it a few times. Then you're gonna take bottle number two and shake it for 30 seconds. Go ahead and also add 10 drops to your test tube. Put the cap back on and then shake it for one minute and then let it rest afterwards for five minutes. And then afterwards, compare the color of the liquid to the chart. And ideally, we want it below 40 ppm, the red block. The other method is to use the Tetra 6-in-1 strips, which, as you can see, I cut mine in half so I can use twice as many. And you go ahead and dip it into the water for one second, take it out of the water without shaking off the droplets, and leave it flat for 30 to 60 seconds. After the colors develop, then you can use the sheet of paper that's on the label to compare what the measurement is. Now for three to four weeks, I want you to measure your nitrate levels and you're gonna do something like this. So each week when you measure, you're gonna see, is the nitrate level above or equal to 40 ppm nitrates? If yes, go ahead and do a 50% water change. And I just did, I know it's a rather large amount, but I did 50% to make the math easier. If it is below 40 ppm, then go ahead and skip the water change this week. So let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say on week one, you're able to measure 30 ppm. And I know that's not a real like API, you can't measure that amount, but let's just pretend. So according to this, it is less than four ppm. So we, 40 ppm, so we're gonna skip the water change. Then the next week when you measure, it is 40. Okay, so this is what the most important column here, the increase. How much did it increase by? 10 ppm. Now, because it hit 40 ppm this week, we are gonna go ahead and do a 50% water, water change. So it should decrease to 20 ppm. The next week you come back and, oh, let's say it's 30 again. So you know it e increased from 20 to 30. So you have a 10 ppm increase. And this is the most important column that I want you to figure out. How much did it increase by? At the end of the three to four weeks, you should have an average amount of nitrates that your fish tank makes each week. So if it is five ppm that you're measuring as an increase each week, you can go ahead and change your water 
25% water changes every two weeks. Not bad, you're doing good here. Now, if your tank is making twice that amount, every week is making it 10 ppm of nitrates, then you're gonna do a 25% water change every week. Now, if your tank is making you know, 20 ppm nitrates per week, that starts getting a little bit outside of our boundaries. So you're either gonna have to do a 25% change of water twice a week, which I only wanted to change once a week, or a 50% water change every week, which is a rather large water change. I'd prefer to have that be less of an amount. Okay, so what happens if your aquarium is making 20, 30, 40 ppm of nitrates per week? Well, obviously your aquarium is heavily stocked. And so at least in the short term, what we need to do is 50% water changes every three to four days until we can get that nitrate level below 40 ppm. If the multiple water changes are lowering the nitrates at all, then we need to further temporarily leave the strain on the aquarium by feeding less. So go ahead and decrease the feedings to every other day. Less food means less poo, and hopefully you can get those nitrates under control. Now, in the long term, you have a few options. You can either obviously remove some of the fish from the aquarium, or you can get a bigger aquarium because more water volume is going to dilute the amount of nitrates in there. Or my favorite is to get live aquarium plants. Let me explain. So a couple of months ago in this 20 gallon aquarium here, I had about 16 fish and four a mono shrimp. And you can see all the live aquarium plants I have in there. And at the time I was doing 25% weekly water changes and dosing two pumps of easy green every week, which is the recommended dose for low light tanks. And despite all that, I was still only measuring less than five ppm of nitrates every week, which is great news for the fish, but not so good for the plants. With easy green, we recommend that you dose up to 20 ppm nitrates. So at this point, I had a few options. I could either decrease the number of water changes I was doing to every two or three weeks. I could increase the amount of easy greed I was adding, or in my case, I added some six juvenile balloon mollies, which is they are hungry, hungry hippos. I'm gonna have to increase the amount of food I feed this tank, which is inevitably gonna affect my nitrate level. So that's something to remember is that your aquarium is a living ecosystem. Every time you add or remove fish or plants, if your plants get bigger and they're consuming more nitrogen or your fish get bigger and they're making more nitrogen, that's gonna all affect your nitrate levels. So put a reminder in your calendar or in your phone that at least once a month, you want to remeasure those nitrates just to make sure everything's on track because otherwise you may find that those nitrate levels are suddenly skyrocketing or plummeting without you knowing. If you want a simplified version of everything I just talked about, I will put a link in the description for a free infographic you can download that helps you figure out how often to do water changes. Best of luck with your aquariums and I'll see you next time.